Hey, right, today I'm going to be going over on how to do a leak down test on your Banshee. Um, I mean, this works for pretty much anything, the same principles, but specifically, we're going to be working on my Banshee. Um, symptoms of an air leak, which, you know, you really need to be worried about air leaking in, I have a single carb in this, but air leaking in your intake gaskets, uh, your base gaskets, you know, on a two stroke. Stuff like that, crank seals, all that. Um, you know, it can cause high idle, uh, you know, revs taking a really long time to fall back down. In my case, my symptoms are I have a really huge main jet, really huge pilot jet, and needles all the way rich on the carb just for it to run normal. So, I'm going to guess I have an air leak somewhere. I think my intake's good, but, you know, it might be the base gaskets, hopefully not. Um, so anyway, you can make your own leak down tester pretty easily with parts from Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Um, so what I did, I got these. Now you could, there's a few different styles of plugs you can use. So you, <clears throat> you're going to need, you know, for a Banshee, you're going to need two for your exhaust to plug the exhaust. You can use one of these expandable ones. This is too big to go into the exhaust, so I'd rather use one of these than these style, um, you know, test plugs, but that's, uh, well, it'll be hard to see on here, but it's basically a, uh, one and a half inch, you know, test plug there, there's the part number, um, they're a little big for the exhaust ports, but I think I might just wrap some electrical tape around there, and that'll be fine. Um, for your leak down tester, it's really pretty simple, you just want to, you know, you might want to bring your intake boot or something uh, where your carb goes with you to the store and you want to find something that will go into there and clamp down just like your carb would. This, so you're basically going to take your carburetor off put this in place of it. This is just a T-fitting with a pressure gauge on it which this pressure gauge isn't really ideal. Um, this would be better. It goes up to 15 PSI because um, you're basically only want to pressurize your motor with about five pounds more than that and you can blow out your crank seals. So really it's just a gauge. We got a Schrader valve on there. You can use a bike pump or a compressor if you're careful. Um, that's really all there is to that. Just got to make sure your tool doesn't leak. Um, you know to make sure these clamp down tight on your exhaust. So you're going to need to remove your pipes and get your carb off. In my case that means removing a lot of stuff. But you know, I'm going to have to remove my rear plastics, rear silencers, and everything just to get the air box out. But, yeah, I'll start taking it apart and get back to you once everything's off. Alright, got everything off, the only reason I have to take, you probably won't have to do all of this if you have the dual carbs, just because of the way um, the airbox adapter works and the single carbs that I have to take all of this apart, but anyway, I have the carb over to the side as long as it's out of the way, um, so if you have the stock dual carbs like you, most people probably do, you can make one of the leak down testers like I showed for one side then plug the other cylinder all the pressure will kind of leak through the rings and everything so it'll still work you don't need to do anything weird with both cylinders but anyway um, so you want it you might want to well since you're working with low 
pressures grease on here is just going to kind of it'll help it it'll help it seal and uh you know oh boy ticking but uh it'll just kind of help it seal it's not it shouldn't blow out there and you know grab your leak down tester and there you go so you know this I have to loosen the clamp a little bit, but you get the idea. Uh, it's kind of hard to to film. It here. I had to turn this around, but basically, your exhaust ports here you need to cap off and make sure that's sealed. Um, so you're gonna want to make sure these are all cleaned up. And in the case of using the plugs that I'm using, I'm gonna try and tighten them down. What you might have to do is clean up your ports real good. And then wrap some electrical tape around there to build them up a little. Because these, these are a little big. These are just what I could find cheap. A one and a quarter inch plug might be better. Um, the uh, the actual ports on the outside measure 1.8. But, eh, whatever. That's uh, pretty much what you're going to do. Tighten it down and make sure everything looks good. And you're going to put about 5 pounds in there. And I'll show that. And tell you how that all works okay so you can kind of see that there that one and uh, the other plug once you got those tightened down on there and your intake is tightened down you want to go ahead and uh, yeah I'm using a compressor you just got to be careful bike pump works too um, hopefully I can hold this um, so basically you're gonna want about 5 psi like keep it under 10 pounds but 5 psi is about what you want so yeah this is hard to show but yeah just just get a little pressure okay there we go on the gauge it's I don't know, you can it's, it's like six pounds in there um so basically once you have about that much pressure in there you're just going to want to let it sit um i don't know 10 minutes is well five about 10 minutes would be really ideal if it holds the pressure for that long I'm surprised it's on kinda I don't know it doesn't yeah I don't know we'll see uh, this I'm hoping I kinda hope this leaks down in my case because then I know what's wrong with it but either way you're just gonna wanna let it sit so basically your crankcase your cylinders everything's pressured up your intake so then you can you know check for leaks you know here here I mean this is just for single carb stuff but your base gasket um head gasket even i mean it might you know you might get pressure leaks in your cooling system or something but you know or your o-rings on the domes if you have a cool head like this you know something like that um this still this is holding it's still about where it was so just gonna let it sit and um if it does leak down fast you can makes it easier if you have someone else just to kind of try and keep the pressure on five pounds and you can spray some soapy water around all the gasket surfaces and hopefully find a leak or something like that but pretty much that's all there is to doing a leak down test on this or other two strokes or really anything I mean it's pretty simple just kind of helps you you know know because if you do have an air leak like that you can uh, pop the motor run and lean you don't want to do that so uh, that'll be it for for this video thanks for watching